Hi friends. So in the previous tutorial, what I did was I covered uh, how to use MD5 and SHA-1. So MD5 is being phased out; it's not very secure, and so is SHA-1. So nowadays, what if you want to have a secure hash, we have to use some other um, hashing uh, versions of SHA. Uh, so in this one, I will be covering SHA-2024, 256, uh, 384, and 512. So uh, as the numbers increase, it gets more and more uh, secure. So the thing is that uh, it's uh, probably like the same. We have to use the same commands. Uh, uh, all we have to do is change the number. So in this tutorial, I will be just concentrating on the SHA and how to use it. So let's get started. So uh, one thing that uh, I want to say is that uh, this is going to be the I don't know second or third uh, tutorial in this uh, series about uh, cryptography. So the thing is that in the first one I just show you guys how to make a simple uh, 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 a script to encrypt text using AES. Uh, so it was just a basic demo. Uh, in the next two tutorials and in this one I will be covering the concepts, the basics, uh, and hashing is important for cryptography as well. So that's why I'm covering this. So we will be improving on this and uh, in the next few tutorials uh, I'll be covering some more things and at the end we will be able to uh, create a script for AES. Uh, so let's get started for this one. I will be using Python 3. So what we need to do is first we have to import the hashlib module. So what it does is that uh, this part it imports the hashlib module which we will be needing. And uh, first of all let's type in the uh, hashlib dot algorithms underscore available so what it does is that this shows all the available uh, algorithms in your system so you can see that uh, SHA-1, MD4, Whirlpool, RIPE MD160, SHA-384 uh, and all DSA, SHA, MD5 so the thing is that these are all the uh, algorithms that are available on your system uh, but if, if you want to know just all the modules that are available within the hashlib module sorry all the algorithms that are available within the hashlib module so for that you have to use the modules guaranteed so what it does is that these are all the algorithms SHA-224, SHA-1, MD5 so the thing is that these uh, algorithms these are uh, the ones that are available within this module only hashlib this one these are the ones that are available on your system this is the ones that are available only using this import hashlib module so the thing is that uh, let's uh, first of all uh, uh, let's create a variable or an object uh, let's call, should call it hashed uh, a string and uh, what we do is we are saying that use the hashlib module and after that you are saying use a SHA this time you will be using 224 and we are saying um, uh, let's say this time you are saying uh, make a SHA digest or SHA hash of hello world so in here I'm uh, so let me run this so in here um, this hello world port uh, we are sending it as a, a byte, uh, as a byte string, not a, just a simple string literal. So uh, the uh, SHA-224 method of the hashlib uh, module, it takes input as a binary, a binary uh, a string, not as a string literal, simple or a simple string. So we have to use this B to specify that it is a binary string. After that, what we can do is that uh, uh, let's say we want to view it in hex. So let's call it hex digest and we are saying hex digest is equal to uh, This is the variable that we created hash string and uh, We are saying dot hex digest So in here we are creating a variable called hex object and we are saying hash a string This is what we use in here which holds the hash of this string hello world and you're saying hex digest it show, the, show this output to us in hex uh, so in order to see it now hex digest 
so this shows us the uh, hex digest of uh, what we did so instead of doing a hex digest we could also have done a simple digest which i showed you guys in the previous tutorial so let's get this digest is equal to hashed the string and then for this what we do is we type in digest and now let's print in digest so this is uh, this is string in here you can see this is in bytes so this is a byte string this one however this uh, we have encoded in hex so this is a hex encoded digest this is in bytes this is in hex so if you want to uh, view a sample uh, digest of it you can use this digest method or if you want to view it in hex you can specify hex so other than that if you want so i said uh, so in here i specify the use shot 24 so let's go up hashed the string so in here instead of 224 you can also use other uh, uh, stronger shop versions like you can say use 256 or you can say use uh, 384 or you can say 512 so and this one let's create this one so let's say hash a string too and then we are saying uh, in here hex digest 2 is equal to hash the string to dot hex digest and then we're saying print hashed sorry not hashed hex digest two so you can see that this shows us the digest of the hello world this is a 500 you do this uses 512 bits version of it of sha um, so this is it for this tutorial guys this is how you can use sha to a hash a text plain text but remember that it takes uh, the text that you put in it should be in byte it should be a byte string not a string literal so this is uh, how you can uh, print the algorithms that are available and this uh, this one and this what it does is that it shows only the algorithms that are available within this hashlib uh, module so if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and uh, i will see you guys in the next one